What's up guys, it's your boy JP008 coming to y'all with another install. Uh, today we got 2006 Hummer H3 and we're going to be replacing this Jensen head unit with a new Kenwood 374. We're going to be putting uh, kickers in the fronts, kickers in the rears as far as uh, speakers and we're going to be doing one kicker 12 inch with a 600.1. So uh, if you guys want to see how it all plays out, continue to watch. Man, first thing I want to do is go ahead and get my key put this in the lowest position you want to take these two fingers yeah and that's how we release some of the pressure of those clips and boom comes out just like that I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my hazards which is up here got that out the way that right there goes to is that some kind of passenger air it sure is so i'm just gonna put this a little further to the side and then we have our four seven mils right up here that i'm gonna take out right now all right guys so sitting there looking at the harness and uh seems like it's not bad you know what i'm saying it's tested taped up it's pretty all right it's kind of neat not mad at all one thing I kind of pride myself on is having like a clean install because you may have a technician go behind you to do something else and you don't want somebody to think, oh man, this last installer was just trash. So yeah, I'm glad that actually looked pretty good like that. So uh, now that I got the radio out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wire up the new radio and finish the install. We actually got a, a lot of stuff going in. We have the, uh, like I said, we got the Kenwood piece kickers going in the front so we got kickers going in the rear we got a kicker 600.1 going up to the uh, kicker 12 inch and we also have a backup camera to install so I'm gonna go ahead and get started you can see right here I'm not gonna show the tag but I already got the backup camera already mounted got my wire hanging down right here and now I need to run this wire so what I'm gonna do right now I got me some uh, red and black primary I'm gonna twist those two together because we're gonna tie this camera up to ignition and then that way the camera comes on as soon as the car comes on and then we're just gonna find the reverse trigger inside the cab maybe at the BCM or something like that to trigger the monitor itself so let me spin these wires up real quick As you can see I got my backup camera wires wired not wired but it's ran up under the Hummer going on top of that zip tied over that as well zip tied right here once again and I'm probably gonna drill my hole into the cabin right here and then uh, that way I'll be loomed up to this point and then I will seal it up in the back that way nothing's gonna be able to go on the inside like any water or whatever the case is and then Gonna continue to find my reverse and then the backup camera will be done. Anyway, uh, so that is it. The Kenwood 774. I'm sorry, I thought it was the 374, but yeah, it is the 774. Got the backup camera hooked up, installed. Got a sub installed. I mean, it's not bad, you know what I'm saying, for what it is, but uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm glad I was able to take you guys on this journey with running that wire and installing this whole thing. Until next time, man, it's JP's Auto 08 signing out.